Hello guys, today I'm gonna give you some 3D modeling tips in Maya. For the first one, we're gonna try the preset. You can find it on Windows and Modeling Editors. It's totally useful if you already met your blocking. In example, I need more edges on my cylinder, but I already made my cube extrude. So we're gonna select your angle edges and click on New. As you can see, you have board edges. If you activate the smooth preview with 3, you increase act like a chamfer. It's nice to test your meshes. It's also useful to add a real smooth. Your crease edges will stay and you can add a subdivision level. You can also retrieve your selection but with the button select on the crease window. You can use the selection to make your bevel, chamfer or add a subdivision level. Now we see how to extrude a tube from a curve. At first, we need to find the tap curve on the left. I will draw a random shape to show you how it works. As you can see, it's a pretty ugly shape. We need to rebuild the curve to have vertices evenly distributed on the curve. It's also nice for the extrude step. Now we have a good curve shape. We create a cylinder and put it in the front of the curve. You can select polygons on the top of your mesh, press shift and select your curve and extrude. Now you just need to add some divisions and ta-da, you have your tube. If you don't delete your history, you can still modify the curve and your mesh will follow it. You can tape your vine or tentacle with tape on channel box. And that's it. You have a good and clean vine shape. For the third tip, we're gonna mix two techniques, wrap and blend shape. For this example, I want my shins filled to this wave shape. I need to create a subdivided plane in the middle of the shins. After that, I duplicate my plane and translate it on the top of the wave. Now I need to select the wave and activate the live surface here. So I can just translate the second plane and make him fit to the wave. Now we made a blend shape between these two meshes. As you can see, we can now transform this plane on a wave in your channel box. And the final step is easy. You need to select the chains in first and then the plane. You can now slide your blend shape to one and the chains will follow your plane. Connect it to it with the wrap and that's it. Hope you guys like it, follow if you want to see more.